Hey everybody, this is the Frogman, Nomadic Frog, Scott. And it's the uh, December 30th, 2019. Um, this is my Condor video update. Not sure what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I bought this and gutted it all out. Got the engine running and working. It drives. Um, this is the current status that I'm in right now. Um, not sure really what I want to do right now. With it. There's a big part of me that still wants to really keep it and finish doing what I'm doing and keep my dream going. But then there's a part of me that's like scared now and thinking I bit off more than I can chew. So, this is the inside of her. I have almost completely gutted it out. Need to do some wood repair. I would like to take all these beams out and all this ceiling all the way down and replace them. I also need to get some covers cover up these holes I'm kind of like I don't know if that's worth anything because I'm going to replace all the wood so I don't know what I'm doing but I'm wondering this wood is riveted from the outside and some of the rivets are going bad and I don't know if I should just replace them or replace the wood that is holding them in as well Cause like, like this piece right here, there's wood, ouch, there's wood in it, or a rivet in it that's busted out all, all together. Now that stuff down there, yeah, I know that probably needs to be replaced. This stuff I think needs to be replaced. This here definitely. So... Right now, I'm currently living in a 99 Chevy Tahoe. Took all the seats out, put a twin bed in there, and uh, did some stuff in that. <clears throat> but like this, you know, it's like, that's just gone. I have zero carpentry skills, folks, by the way. And zero videoing skills. So I'm really doing great. Yeah, that needs to come out. Also, should I keep this refrigerator and reuse it? I would like to get... My idea for this is to have two deep freezes. Small 3.5 cubic feet deep freezes. And turn one of them, switch out the uh, thermostat for a... a uh, refrigerator thermostat so one is an ice box and one's a refrigerator let me know what you think about that down in the comments i am also if anybody watches justin and juby between the wheel wells here i am looking to do a shower pan and i would like to go from here from this wood down along this edge here and incorporate this one into it and this into it as well and just go over to here like to the edge of this keep this one here but on this side of this wood here would be from so from here across this this and that and then over here 
and bring it back here and come right here. So this is the pattern, basically. I know I'm over killing this. So from right here, down, 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 across, all the way over to the edge of that skylight, up to here, and then back over. I'm thinking about putting one big skylight. Please let me know what you think about that. But those are the two big things that I want to do here. I want to put the skylight in there and I want to have the deep freeze refrigerators. Maybe I should just use the refrigerator that's here for right now and then do change it out later. But then it's going to affect how I make everything else because the refrigerator will have to go here and I want to do just a straight countertop right here with a small little closet right here right there and electrical panel right there and over here is going to be a toilet and no sink I want to put a a vivarium right here on the wall and then starting from here start my kitchen actually have my kitchen come over here here would be a deep freeze and over here on the wheel wheel I would probably put a deep freeze as well with a cut hole in the uh, live wood live edge countertop to uh, just lift it up and then I can get into there so that's that thought <clears throat> and then um, maybe have the deep freeze here or put the stove here stove here oops this is not looking very well stove here and then deep freeze over here and put a little L to about here just uh, about where this where the existing line was for the L just put a little L there with the sink and then the refrigerator deep freeze and then the stove and have some cupboards up on top uh, that can see through maybe even wire cupboards um, because I like to see everything but and then a small couch and another live edge wood uh, desk and that's my plan and the whole entire back is going to be from uh, here to back it's going to be a wall-to-wall -wall six foot bed so it's like eight foot seven and a half eight foot wide and then six foot deep bed. Uh, 10 inch memory foam preferably. So that's what I'm thinking about folks. I know I'm shooting into a dirty mirror, but this is how my life is right now. Please don't judge me. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna spend the last couple days of the year doing some work in here. Pulling off the rest of this paneling Pulling off the ceiling panel, uh, getting all the rest of this uh, old insulation out, start pulling out nails and stuff. So, and I'm going to do all everything exposed exposed copper piping for plumbing and exposed con uh, conduit piping for electrical. Just give it that rustic look. A lot of things is just going to be wood and it's it's just it's gonna have a rustic look i want to do the floor i found a uh, pvc recycled flooring with all natural products that looks like wood rounds i did originally want to do real wood rounds on my floor but um it's gonna add too much weight and i can't find anybody to cut them in the thickness i want so Instead of buying new tools to do that, I'm just going to go with a PV, 
recycled PVC flooring that's uh, environmentally safe and uh, it'll look like a wood round. It'll look really good. Anyway, anybody have any questions? Anybody have any comments? Anybody have any advice, help? Uh, if you're in the Sacramento area, I am in Sacramento. Would love to have some people come and give a two cents, maybe and help me out with a couple projects if they could. Um, I can buy lunch and maybe a six pack of beer or something like that. Got some tequila if you like that. Um, I don't have a whole lot of money to be paying high hourly rates. If you're reasonable, I might hire you. I could probably swing a couple jobs at $20 an hour. But um, anyway, that's my update. That's where I'm at. Please hit the like button. Please, uh, I don't know. You don't have to share it because I know it's not that great of a video. But uh, let me know. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day. Happy New Year's to everybody.